and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your ancestral reading, your messages from your ancestors, urgent messages that your ancestors feel like you need to hear at this current point, my beautiful Virgo. Uh, but when it comes to any of my tarot readings, I just want to say be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, my beautiful Virgo. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, my beautiful Virgo. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to uh, let me know in the comments below how they do because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. And then if you do find some cards that resonate, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it, Virgo, when you guys take that extra time to support my tarot reading channel by doing that extra stuff because I know you guys don't have to, obviously, right? Um, and then also, before I finally get into this uh, ancestral reading for you, my beautiful Virgo, I just want to sit here and remind you that I don't feel like any tarot reading should be making a decision in your life because, or me making a decision in your life because I feel like tarot cards, tarot readings are here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider in your life, but not something to tell you what you should do or how you should do something, you know? I feel like it should just be something that, because it's your life to live, not anyone else's Virgo, so yeah let's enough of my rambling my beautiful virgo let's just start getting into your ancestral messages um yeah so i guess we'll come out with this card first with this eight of swords this is a a card of feeling trapped this is a card of feeling like your environment uh my beautiful virgo is something in your environment that's having you feel like you're feeling suppressed or limited in some way is something that I'm getting, Virgo. There's this sense of where it's like you're trying to break free. You're trying to, um, it's like you're trying to continue going forward in your life, but it feels like you being you can't move forward at all because you have all these swords uh, around you, just keeping you trapped, keeping you restricted in this way. Now, something I do want to point out is your ancestors are almost trying to lift like the illusions from you because this is a card of illusions, right? These swords, like yeah, right now it seems like off first impression, like you wouldn't be able to escape this, right? But with this, your ancestors are trying to remove the guys, remove the blindfold that's uh, covering your eyes and make you realize that the only thing that's stopping you from going into this new journey, a sense, or really creating is you, essentially, right, Virgo? And I don't want this to come off as if you're not doing enough or anything. That's not the case whatsoever. It's more about there's something, like, I find this to be an empowering card, even though it sounds like I'm chastising you, Virgo, but I'm really not. Um, just because it's like, it lets you know that you're in more control than you think you are. And so just realizing that there's more that you can do in a situation, um, ego aside and being like you know personal feelings aside it just lets you know that like you're not you're not fall you're not uh what's the word that i'm trying to think of you're not a victim to the universe you actually are in a lot more control than you think you are so let's get into the animal oracle cards we have number 62 the turtle spirit equaling to eight and numerology so write that down for a later point virgo uh this card says slow and steady wins the race so perhaps in your environment right now virgo that's where your frustration lies is where it's like you're wanting to go quicker you're wanting to have things go at a faster pace and your ancestors are being like uh, uh, uh honey like you need to take your time with this right you don't want to rush through things you don't want to just continue uh pushing yourself in the sense of like <clears throat> virgo how I'm trying to put this, I guess, is like maybe something in your environment actually is limiting or isn't best case scenario, right? Uh, let's use myself as an example just to relay the messages, right? If I if I don't like, like for anyone that's not new to my channel, like they know, anyone that knows me knows that I hate the background that I currently have for my readings because I just like wish it would be a different background. But with this type of energy, 
um, I would be using the excuses of being like, oh, well, I don't want to make tarot videos until I have a better background. Or it's like, I tell myself, it's like, well, it's pointless for me to uh, push my content anymore until I have a better background, right? And so um, that's not the case at all, right? And there's this sense of where it's like, maybe you're being a little bit too critical, right? Um, so it's like, don't, don't associate, maybe if you feel like you're going through, like, progression is slow for you or manifestation is slow for you don't think that that's not what should be happening right now don't feel like your environment is slowing it down i can't help but feel like there's like something big being built up for you and your ancestors are trying to get that across to you some of you guys may feel like your ancestors virgo have abandoned you at this time or where it's like perhaps you're feeling even a little bit lost right now maybe i can't help but feel like some of you guys um kind of have like for those that are, are my virgos that are spiritually inclined i can't help but feel like some of you feel um spiritually disconnected right now so can't help but feel like you should really start trying to connect to your ancestors um even just through simple meditation to try to like remind yourself that you're not alone uh, we have the honeybee card coming in let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation so this is more so just viewing this situation whatever it is your environment is viewing it from a more kinder from a kinder place not a more kinder from a kinder place my beautiful virgo this is the time where it's like you really want to focus your energy on practicing gratitude rather than looking at your environment and having resentment when you look at your environment because that's just not manifesting anything beautiful right um i can't help but feel like there's just each time i look at this turtle spirit card uh, virgo there's like i feel like a little bit of resentment coming in over it's like i can't help but feel like you just want something to come out into fruition you want something to come into uh creation sooner knight of water now this could be this is the knight of cups normally in normal tarot so this could be in the shape of a person or an opportunity trying to come your way so i'm going to just speak in terms of opportunity virgo maybe you are feeling entitled to having something come further quicker in your life uh maybe you wish maybe you feel like your work isn't being noticed or that um the quality of your work isn't being noticed and there's like this frustration with that and so it's like you're trying to find reasons as to why it's not coming in and i feel like it's coming in just not at the pace that you would like it and so with this empress card archangel gabriel coming in here uh this card says lavish in abundance give birth to your dreams nurture yourself and other people you know, with the Empress, the Empress is in complete in tune with the world around her. Him or her, obviously, gender does not matter whatsoever, Virgo. Um, this is a card of where it's like the Empress doesn't have anxiety over um, her finances or doesn't have anxiety over anything, any her cups being filled or any of that. Um, the Empress knows that the universe has her back and will take care of her, him or her. Um, as like when it's needed right the empress doesn't feel trapped in her environment the empress feel like in fact really thrives in this type of environment because they know the empress knows that um their ancestors wouldn't bring forth any type of situation that they wouldn't be able to overcome they have put trust in their ancestors and knowing that um they're just trying to help them along in their path so um, they don't feel like a victim to the universe. In fact, they feel constantly blessed and maintaining that energy. You naturally just have a much higher uh, vibration. And that's how you just manifest a lot more bounty in your life, more bountiful things in your life. So we're continuing on with this. Uh, we have the temperance card coming in. Honey, I kind of was anticipating this coming in where it's a card of patience, which is, I mean, already with that total spirit. So some of you Virgos, I'm not going to lie. You probably want to slap me right now. Just be like, oh, you don't like, because I do get a sense of like urgency isn't the word. You're just like, I just see a Virgo like tapping their foot and be like, anytime now, like, come on, like, let's go. And so when you're seeing this temperance card and hearing me say like, oh, have patience, you know, um, when you see that turtle spirit where they're telling you it's just like slow and steady wins the race. Um, just like this, we need to figure out how we can dispel the sense of urgency, uh, Virgo. 
And so now we have the Page of Pentacles with the Tower card coming in as well. Oh, my beautiful Virgo. I get this sense that the, with this Tower card, you kind of just need to do away with the mindset. You need to do away with how you think things are going to turn out, how you think sh things should turn out, how you think, think things should look and all that. I think you need to have a Tower moment with your mindset. Um, I'm not, and again, I don't want it to sound like Virgo that I'm judging uh, your thoughts or like your emotions or how you're feeling right now because honey, we're only human and it makes sense, like, right? I'm sure you put in a lot of work, a lot of energy, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears and whatever this is that you want to come into fruition, but just wait a little bit longer, Virgo. Your ancestors have something in plan for you and so you just have patience at this time, truly. Page of Pentacles coming in here. Let's actually, um, my beautiful Virgo, let's pull some cards on this, right? Let's get some uh, clarification on that card in particular and see what's up with that. Because this could be in a couple different ways. Okay, so Virgo, this is going to be a very specific random message, but it's almost like this push towards moving on from some type of comfortable situation uh, that really isn't serving you to your highest good. Um, with this Ten of Cups, Seven of Swords, and Eight of Cups, there's something here that is in like your close-knit circle, in your uh, close circle, Virgo, that uh, I just feel like it's kind of like working against like your ultimate goal. Now, I don't feel like a malevolent energy in this. It just maybe could be like a friend or a family member that just enables you to do things that like keeps you distracted, right? So if you're trying to um, have a thriving career, um, maybe you have someone in your life that isn't really supportive of it uh, directly. And so like, but they're not supportive in a way where it's like anytime that you're working, they will just message you and be like, oh, Virgo, you should come out and party tonight, right? Trying to take you away, trying to distract you. Not off the intent of trying to take you away from having your cups filled, but more so like, they're just not thinking in that way, right? They're not considering like what it is that you're trying to get to. I can't help but with these cards, there's this like push of like, <sighs> finding someone new that is able to relate to your passions more relate to whatever it is that this turtle spirit that temperance is referencing you to have patience about i can't help but feel like there's like a kind of just needing a new uh exposure of energy to people that actually understand where it is that you're trying to go in your life and actually able to support you maybe finding like some more peers uh in relation in relation to whatever it is that you're trying to bring into fruition because with this eight of cups this is just going into bigger and better waters nothing inherently wrong with these waters here right my beautiful virgo but you know in yourself deep down that there's something more calling out to you something bigger is calling out to you and so um there is like just this, this sense of putting some distance between you and someone that you think you probably have some pretty you think fondly of them and here's the thing virgo i'm not saying not to talk to them anymore neither your ancestors but it's just more so of be aware of where you're allocating your energies and where you're investing most of your energies into pay attention to where you offer your pentacle to who you offer your pentacle to and make sure that it's a proper investment and that you're not just throwing your pentacle away to something without no net gain if that makes sense hopefully that doesn't sound too dehumanizing right because you can still be friends with people just not trying just not putting all your energy into them because you acknowledge that like you know we have those friends that we only spend time with when we have free time right and then we ha we have friends that we connect with when it's we're trying to do something business related so think about it in that way so enough about all of that, my beautiful Virgo. What blessings can are your ancestors trying to bring to you uh, at this time? What is it that my beautiful Virgo can look forward to from their ancestors? And what signs should they look forward to uh, for their blessings? Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do right here. Oh, really good cards. Yeah, okay. So, funnily enough, Virgo, you guys actually got a uh, 
<laughs> the similar spread to Taurus's, but with different tarot, with a different deck, almost, with this page of wands and this page of swords, where it's like a completely new beginning. So a lot of people's ancestors, Virgo, are really trying to get them to a completely new beginning. And I can't help, and especially with this Ace of Coins, honey, like, it's like, it's almost like your ancestors are just like, um, there's some, like, you need to like move out of your current situation with that Eight of Cups, right? Because it's like this Eight of Cups here, you're going in, like when you leave these waters to go to somewhere else, you find your cornucopia, right? The Eight of Pentacles. You find like the thing that kind of unlocks the flow of energy, of abundance energy towards you, right? And I do feel like it's wrapped behind some type of new beginning, right? Um, so just like surrounding yourself with new people almost or just inviting new people into your life including more people into your life rather than taking out people just include more people that you can relate to my beautiful virgo but um yeah that's the cards that i have for you virgo if you did enjoy this reading be sure to let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe my beautiful virgo and then be sure to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages but until next time my beautiful virgo i will hopefully connect with you sometime in the future pretty soon I love you so much. Bye.